Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. Well, actually, we're not in Premiere Elements. We're in a preview area where I'm going to show you a special effect. And then we're going to go into Premiere Elements and I'll show you how to create that special effect. Now, you've seen this quite often in commercials. You see it in ads and promos. You see it quite often even in the titles for movies now. We have a scene here of a street and we've got a title in front of it. And then we're going to have an actor enter the scene. And when he enters the scene, he's going to appear to walk in front of the text. The text appears to be between him and the street. Now, there are a number of ways to create this effect, of course, a number of ways to skin a cat. But I'm going to show you the most basic and simple way to do it here using Premiere Elements. Now, here in Premiere Elements on my project, I have the street scene that is on video track one. So that's in the background. And then on top of that, I've got my title, which is just a basic aerial title with a border around it. And you notice my actor is actually in the scene. So to make him appear in front of the text, I've got to duplicate my background. So I'm going to just go up to my project assets and pull down the same clip that is on video track one, pull it down to video track three. And then I'm going to mask around the actor so that we can see the background behind him. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to the FX button and I'm going to go to the keying effects and here I've got the eight point garbage mat which I'm going to drag down onto the clip that's on video track three. Now the eight point garbage mat is going to mask everything that is outside of that mat. So when I select eight point garbage mat here in applied effects you can see all the corner handles that I can grab onto and shape my mask and as I do you can see that it is starting to reveal things or actually reveal the what appears to be the title Though it's actually revealing what is on video track one and video track two. See how that works? So I'm masking what's on video track three. Now with those selected, I'm going to toggle open the eight point garbage mat and turn on the keyframe controller by clicking on the stopwatch in the upper right hand corner of the program because we need to animate this mask or this garbage mat so that it follows the actor through the scene. So the first thing I want to do is toggle on animation by clicking on the little stopwatch here above eight point garbage mat. That gives me my initial keyframes here. And then I'm going to create the animation as I follow the actor through the scene by repositioning the garbage mat one point at a time. And the program is going to automatically generate keyframes indicating this the new location for all of these points. Now I can do that very precisely. I can do it very generally. Uh, but I like to do it literally one frame at a time by clicking on the step forward and step backward buttons here on the playing controls. And so I step forward a little, make an adjustment. Step forward a little, make an adjustment. And that's really kind of all there is to it. You just have to keep doing it. And it can be as precise or as imprecise as you need it to be. I like mine to be pretty precise. But again, what we're doing is where I'm just going to turn off what's on video track one and what's on video track two and show you that all I'm doing is creating a garbage mat that is only showing the actor or portions of the actor here on video track three. And that gives the impression that the actor is in the foreground and that the scenery and the, the text is in the background. And as we follow that through the whole scene, you can see the result. A lot of little keyframes here, but very precise as we follow the actor as he moves in front of the text or appearing to move in front of the text. A very cool special effect and one you can do even in a program like Premiere Elements. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of tips and tricks, you want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. If you want to know everything there is to know about Premiere Elements and all the deep programming in it, you'll want to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. That is available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.